Elon Musk recently said he's confident that this will be available in many cities across the United States before the end of the year. And honestly, almost no one saw this coming. Forget all those old guesses about a $30,000 Tesla. Elon Musk has now hinted that a brand new Tesla could cost as little as $15,000, and it might arrive before the year is over. That single number changes everything. A price like that suddenly puts an electric car within reach of everyday Americans who never imagined owning a Tesla. And if what people inside the company are quietly saying is even partly true, demand is about to go absolutely wild. Tesla may not even be able to build these cars fast enough to keep up. Once production ramps up, you'll start seeing them everywhere. In suburbs, downtown areas, crowded parking lots, and city streets all across the country. Musk isn't even calling this just another new car. He's calling it a completely new way of building cars. According to him, Tesla will be able to produce thousands of these vehicles every single day. Some insiders believe this new model could outsell both the Model 3 and Model Y combined. It sounds almost unbelievable, but Musk has been obsessively focused on cracking the low-cost EV problem. He believes that even China's toughest automakers won't be able to match what Tesla is about to pull off. This isn't just hype. This is the opening chapter of Tesla's next massive leap forward, a completely new model priced under $15,000. It hasn't even been officially revealed yet, but leaks coming out of Giga Texas are already giving us a clear picture of what's coming. Stick around because over the next several minutes, you'll understand why this car could become the most popular Tesla ever made and why Elon Musk is shifting his entire strategy away from premium vehicles toward true affordability. What's happening here is genuinely insane. Musk himself has admitted that this technology is extremely complex and that Tesla needs to make sure everything works perfectly. And the timing couldn't be more important. By 2025, the electric vehicle battle between Tesla and BYD has turned into a full-on war. The pressure on Elon Musk is higher than ever as the Chinese automaker continues to gain ground at shocking speed. BYD has been flooding the market with electric cars at incredibly low prices, some as cheap as $12,000. Musk knew that if Tesla didn't respond with something truly groundbreaking at a price regular people could afford, the company risked falling behind. The sales charts make it painfully clear. BYD is still winning, especially in price-sensitive markets. That's why the sudden reveal of a Tesla priced at $14,999 hit like a thunderbolt. No one expected it, especially since earlier targets for this car were closer to $30,000. This isn't just a small adjustment. It's a dramatic pivot. And honestly, it left many people stunned, because the truth is, $30,000 just isn't competitive anymore. It's too expensive for most buyers and far above what BYD is offering. But $15,000? That's a completely different story. That's the kind of price that could trigger a massive wave of reservations overnight. And remember, even the Model Y managed to sell well in China, despite being priced much higher than local competitors. So imagine what happens when Tesla offers a car that costs roughly one-third the price of a Model Y. It almost feels unreal. According to internal sources, this new model is planned for a December debut. Musk has reportedly told his teams to lock down everything, the design, the engineering, and the features, before the big reveal. Even when Joe Rogan tried to get details out of him, Musk refused to share anything saying he couldn't talk about it before the official unveiling. He did say, though, that it has a real chance of becoming one of the most memorable product reveals ever. While Elon Musk hasn't confirmed the official name yet, most people in the industry believe it will be called the Tesla Model 2. That name has been floating around for years. What we do know is that it will be a compact hatchback, smaller than both the Model 3 and Model Y, and it will introduce a design style we haven't seen from Tesla before. 
Musk has hinted that it will feel even more minimal than current Teslas, but it won't look like a scaled-down Model 3 or Model Y. Tesla wants this car to stand on its own. In simple terms, the Model 2 is shaping up to be a small, clean, efficient hatchback built with cost-effective materials. And honestly, that makes sense at this price. When the price leaked, reactions online split immediately. Some longtime Tesla fans doubted that Tesla could hit $15,000 without stripping the car down too much. Others were thrilled. For many people, this would be their first real chance to own a Tesla, even if it meant giving up some luxury features. What's surprising is that leaks suggest the Model 2 might be better than people expect. Early reports say the front of the car has been completely redesigned. The headlights sit higher, look sharper, and give the car a confident, modern feel. Tesla is reportedly moving away from light bars and using a simpler, more cost-efficient lighting design that also improves aerodynamics. It doesn't feel like a downgrade. It feels like Tesla redefining its design language. Fewer parts, cleaner lines, and a stronger identity. You can look at it and instantly know it's a Tesla, but one designed specifically for city life. The body will reportedly use a next-generation gigacasting structure that reduces the number of panels, seams, and gaps. The result is a smoother, more solid-looking exterior that feels sculpted as one piece. Tesla intentionally removed unnecessary curves and focused only on shapes that improve efficiency. They're not building a cheap car. They're building a small car from the future. The doors follow the same philosophy. While some fans expected wild features, like falcon wing doors, Tesla chose practicality. Standard doors improved hinges, better fit, and smoother operation. Flashy designs are expensive and impractical for tight urban spaces. For a mass-market car, practicality wins. Inside the cabin, Tesla has made compromises to hit the price. Fabric seats instead of vegan leather. No heated seats, no panoramic glass roof, simpler sound insulation, fewer speakers, and limited ambient lighting. These are real trade-offs. But Tesla's philosophy is clear. If you want luxury, they already sell higher-end models. What matters is that the core Tesla technology stays intact. The Model 2 is expected to include full self-driving hardware, including front cameras, because autonomy is central to Tesla's future. This car isn't just about personal ownership. It's expected to play a major role in Tesla's future robotaxi plans. Behind the scenes, Tesla may be doing something even more disruptive. Leaks suggest the company is working on aluminum-ion batteries, moving away from lithium entirely. If true, the Model 2 could be the first Tesla ever to use this technology. Lithium batteries are expensive and volatile in price. Aluminum is cheaper, more abundant, and potentially safer. Aluminum ions carry more charge than lithium ions, which means energy can move faster through the battery. Early prototypes suggest energy density could nearly double compared to current lithium cells. That could mean more range with a smaller battery. Leaks suggest Tesla is targeting around 300 miles of range using a battery pack as small as 53 kilowatt hours. Even more surprising, aluminum ion batteries could be about $2,000 cheaper than LFP packs. At the same time, Tesla is heavily investing in Optimus, its humanoid robot. Recent demos show major improvements in running speed, balance, and hand dexterity. Optimus can now run close to 7 miles per hour with smooth, natural movement. Its hands have been redesigned to better mimic human tendons, allowing more precise and delicate tasks. These upgrades show Tesla isn't just building a robot that moves. They're building one that works, a universal helper capable of operating in factories and eventually homes. While challenges remain, durability, safety, and long-term testing, progress has been undeniable. If Optimus Gen 3 enters production as Musk expects, 
Humanoid robots could become common much sooner than anyone imagined. Point one thing that makes this moment so important is how rare it is to see Tesla slow down and rethink everything from the ground up. This isn't just a cheaper version of an existing car. The Model 2 represents a full reset of priorities. Every bolt, every panel, every line of code has been questioned with one goal in mind. How do you deliver real electric mobility to the largest number of people possible? For years, critics said Tesla would never be able to compete at the low end of the market. They argued that Tesla's technology was too advanced, too expensive, and too dependent on premium pricing. But what they underestimated was Tesla's obsession with manufacturing. Elon Musk has always believed that the real product isn't the car itself, but the factory that builds the car. And the Model 2 is the clearest proof of that mindset so far. By simplifying production, reducing parts, and redesigning the assembly process, Tesla isn't just lowering costs. It's increasing speed. Fewer parts mean fewer things that can go wrong. Fewer steps mean faster production. And faster production means Tesla can flood the market before competitors even know how to react. That's why Musk keeps saying this isn't just a new vehicle. It's a new way of making vehicles. This strategy also explains why Tesla is so confident about scale. Thousands of units per day isn't just a bold claim. It's a target built into the design itself. When production reaches that level, price drops even further, margins improve, and competitors get squeezed even harder. Especially companies that rely on traditional manufacturing methods that simply can't move this fast. And then there's software. Even at $15,000, the Model 2 is still expected to run Tesla's full software stack. Over-the-air updates, driver assistance features, and constant improvements long after purchase. That's something most budget EVs simply can't offer. For many buyers, this won't just be their first Tesla. It will be the first car they've ever owned that actually improves over time. The impact goes far beyond the United States. If Tesla can truly hit this price point, it opens the door to massive expansion in Europe, South America, and parts of Asia where EV adoption has been limited by cost. Suddenly, electric cars stop being a luxury product and start becoming the default choice. At the same time, Tesla's progress with Optimus shows that the company isn't betting on just one future. The car business funds the robot business, and the robot business feeds back into manufacturing. Optimus could eventually work inside Tesla factories, reducing labor costs even further and pushing efficiency to levels no automaker has ever reached. That's the bigger picture most people miss. Tesla isn't just launching a cheap car and a robot at the same time. It's building an ecosystem where each product strengthens the others. Affordable cars generate massive volume. Massive volume accelerates AI training. Better AI improves autonomy. And better autonomy unlocks entirely new business models. Of course, none of this is guaranteed. Tesla still has to prove it can deliver on price, quality, and scale all at once. There will be delays, there will be skeptics, and there will be competitors fighting back hard. But even with all those challenges, one thing is clear. Tesla is no longer chasing the premium market alone. The company is now aiming straight at the center of the global auto industry. And if the Model 2 and Optimus succeed, even halfway as planned, the ripple effects will be felt for decades. This isn't just another product cycle. It's a turning point, a moment where electric cars and intelligent machines stop being futuristic ideas and start becoming everyday tools. And once that line is crossed, there's no going back. When you step back and look at everything together, it becomes clear that Tesla isn't just releasing products. It's challenging how the world thinks about technology, ownership, and the future of work. A $15,000 Tesla isn't just a cheaper car. It's a signal. A signal that electric vehicles are about to move from early adoption into everyday life 
for millions of people. At the same time, Optimus represents something even bigger, a shift from machines that only follow instructions to machines that can learn, adapt, and assist in real human environments. Cars changed how we move. Robots may soon change how we live. Elon Musk has always talked about bending the curve of progress, making the future arrive faster than anyone expects. With the Model 2 and Optimus moving forward at the same time, that idea no longer feels like speculation. It feels like momentum. Real, unstoppable momentum. There will be doubts. There will be delays. And there will be critics who say it can't be done. But those same doubts have followed Tesla at every major turning point. And time after time, the company has pushed forward anyway. What we're witnessing right now may be the moment Tesla stops being just an automaker and becomes something much larger, a company that reshapes transportation, manufacturing, and even daily life itself. The kind of shift that only becomes obvious years later, when the world looks back and realizes this was the turning point. So the real question isn't whether this future is possible. It's whether we're ready for it. Because once affordable electric cars fill our streets and intelligent robots step into our homes and workplaces, the world won't slowly change. It will change all at once. This is the beginning of that moment. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what comes next. This is Device Dimension, where we break down the technology shaping tomorrow before it reshapes us. We'll see you in the next one.